for you a very confident group of players at the moment, given Friday's result and the run of form, particularly in an attacking sense that the Hibs are on at the moment? Yeah, I think if any any team scores five goals and net results in a victory and not a not a draw or a defeat, then you're you're a confident a confident team and we need to use that sort of positive results and I think since the turn of the year the not been beat very often, so we've got to take that confidence going into such a big fixture. The team that's scoring a lot of goals at the moment, is this down to cohesion? Is that down to stuff that, that, that Jack is trying to impose personnel? Or what do you, do, you, do you put that down to? Hey, yeah, a bit of that. We've also just, as the boys, the forward players, have got a load of quality. Like him, players like Boyle, Scotty, they're all playing with confidence in, in a even we Martin, I played with Boyley when he was at Dundee, and he's even since I came back here, his games leaps and bounds. He's he's a real threat, and he's there's a reason why loads of people talk about him. He's a guy who seems to be playing with a huge amount of confidence at the moment as well. Is that is that a big thing for for, for Martin? Yeah, that's it. Any winger, especially any winger, um, us defenders can kind of get away with just kicking lumps out of hope. But if you're confident as a winger, yeah, that's when you play at your best and. I think everyone can see it and he's a real threat against against anyone. From the defensive point of view, do you feel there's maybe a, a bit of work to do there? Or say, well, you're scoring a lot. There's some going in at the other end as well, isn't there? Hey, I think it's just the way, that's the way if you're, you're going to play such attacking football, you're going to leave yourself open and, and there's no like diddies in these, these leagues. So it's just a case of we'll try and do our best to, to keep it as tight as we can. But if we've got players like that attacking threat going forward, then we're willing to let them go and, and we'll take the flak when we, when we concede whatever. Is that the feeling that well, we'll, we'll be able to score one, one more than the opposition? Yeah, ho that? well, hopefully. Look, I, I don't think that we'll always want that sort of case. I'm sure I'd rather a 1-0 and a 2-0. That's better for us. But look, as I said, if they're playing well and scoring goals, then we'll try and plug holes and, and keep it tight at the back. Yeah, really looking forward to it. I went to quite a few before just as a fan and, and uh, playing in a Dundee derby, I know how fierce these sort of the games can be and uh, they're, when you're playing well they're really enjoyable to play in, so hopefully hopefully play well. What was, what was your experiences like going and, and sitting in the stand and watching them? What was maybe your expectation of it and, and what was the, did anything kind of surprise you or, 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 or kind of anything that you noticed about them in a derby which really marks it out? Yeah, no, I just it's it's just a, it's a fierce derby. I just it's what you like. I, um, I suppose I know everyone talks about how that oh, no one should be given so much abuse and all that, but <laughs> I like it. Oh, I like it adds to it. I like it, and uh, I don't mind being on the receiving end. I just hopefully I'm on the receiving end at the start, and not at the end. Hopefully that means I've gone home. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's I, I like it. all. I just love that. Uh, what comes with a derby, and I'm sure the police don't love every bit of it, but that's not my problem. That's something you just have to grow used to hearing the, the comments in the crowd, they kind of ramp up a bit on the bigger games like that. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's just uh, it's just the way football goes, and <laughs> if you, you're not used to it by now, then I don't know when you're going to get used to it. I just, I just feel as if I'd try to get you, wind you up to put you off your game, and I completely understand it. And I'm sure as a young boy, I was I was doing similar. So uh, I just need to take it and uh, and try and play my best game. Were you surprised by Hearts win at the weekend? Were you sat and watched that now? Uh, I saw bits. I had my wee boy running about my, so I was trying to watch what what I could. But uh, no, I'm not surprised. Um, I think there have been moments in games when they have got to a level and. And if they, they put it together like they did on Saturday, they will win games. So we need to be wary of that and and um, we hope that they don't get to the level that they got to on Saturday against us and we'll try and make it as difficult as we can for them. I don't suppose a, you know, a game of this magnitude is sort of one where complacency is going to be an issue anyway. We look at the, the table and see them down there, but you know, this the game kind of speaks for itself a little rather than just in terms of a, a game against the team that are bottom of the, bottom of the league. Yeah. <laughs> Again, that was probably more like a cup tie, which Saturday was f was for Hearts, and uh, I suppose that might might suit them. But yeah, like the fans won't let you be complacent. That's just not going to happen. So uh, we certainly can't be, and we we just hope we get the right result at the end of it.